In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my asparagus bed. Quick background, we used to have an allotment here in the United Kingdom, but we decided that we were going to focus on growing our vegetables in the home instead, and we had to leave our established asparagus bed and set up a new one um, at home. So we ordered these uh, from crocus.co.uk, and this is a variety called uh, Conover's Colossal and you get them as a bare root just like that and they're very simple to set up and once you set them up you can't really harvest them for the first uh, two years or so but then after that you've got a permanent bed that's set up for probably a good 20 to 25 years of harvesting loads of asparagus so as you can see these ones are pretty much ready to go and they do have some of the plant already beginning to sprout from the roots the plants come in packs of three, so I ordered two packs, which is a total of six, and that is my square raised bed on which I'm going to be planting them. So I've already been making sure that weeds were not growing on it, and this is sort of late winter that I was uh, planting these out. So I'd covered the ground over with a weed suppressant membrane, which allows moisture through, but it denies weeds um, the light that they need in order to thrive and so this was just ready for the asparagus uh, when it came through and the idea is that you then just plant it um, up and you leave it be and asparagus is a very low maintenance plant once you get it established but it's important that when you uh, set up the place that you're going to plant it that you put in loads of composting so on mine I had dug up um, about a foot down and then I laid about half a foot of compost before then backfilling it back with the soil and I'm just grabbing water from the water but which I'll then take to just water the spots where I'm actually going to be planting the asparagus. Uh, it's a good idea to soak your uh, bare roots in water because that just makes them a bit more pliable. They do get quite stiff, um, especially if you don't plant them out straight away from when you receive them. So if you soak them, it just loosens up the roots so that it makes it easier for you to spread them. And then you're just going to dig up um, just a little bit of soil. Uh, I'd say probably something like three to four inches and you have to create a little mound where you sort of spread the roots over before you cover them. Give them a bit of a water and pops your uncle they'll be ready to go <laughs> probably in another two years or so but as most gardeners know gardening is a triumph of hope um, over anything else. Hope springs eternal when you're a gardener. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to eating these in 2022. Mm -hmm. 